Hi, this is your host, Sapnil Bharatiya, and welcome to another episode of TFI Let's Talk. And today we have with us Ashley Sawatsky, Incident Response and Reliability Advocate at Rootly. Ashley, it's great to have you on the show. Hi, thanks for having me. It's my pleasure to host you here today, and this is the first time I'm talking to someone from Rootly, so I would love to know a bit about the company. Talk a bit about what you folks do. Uh, we were founded around 2020. And what really is, is an on-call and incident management tool. So we support the incident response process end-to-end -end from, you know, receiving a page that something's broken all the way through to running a retrospective after you resolve the incident and tracking those action items that come out of it. Um, and Rootly is all about allowing teams to manage incidents entirely within Slack. So it's connecting all of the tools that you use during an incident, things like Jira for your task management, like Datadog for dashboards and so on. It's pulling it all into Slack. And then throughout the process, we're using uh, Gen AI and automation to keep things moving along more efficiently and consistently. Excellent. Thank you. And you folks recently announced Rootly on call. I want to know there are a couple of questions I'm throwing in there. Number one is what it is. And if I look at it, it seems like a pager duty competitor. Uh, when we look at, you know, this is a crowded, sticky space. What was the reason that you came out with Rootly on call? How it gives you and your users, customers an edge over pager, pager duty solutions? You're absolutely right that uh, pager duty has been kind of the leading legacy tool in this space. And we did just launch Rootly on call as, as an alternative. And a big reason for that is our customers have been very vocal about wanting it for some time. Uh, definitely the most requested feature set that we've had over the years is to bring alerting into this tool. And I think that some of the appetite comes from just the push to consolidate tooling in general. You know, PagerDuty is an expensive standalone tool that at the end of the day is giving you a phone call. And not a whole lot else by way of helping you actually resolve the issue from there. And uh, some of the other challenges that we've seen and the reason that we wanted to bring a different solution into the space is that this on-call tooling hasn't really evolved in the same way that incident management has. Uh, it, we've seen a lot of changes in terms of how companies think about incidents. So as an example, um, within PagerDuty, escalation policies need to be tied to services which makes sense for engineering teams. You know, you're on call for the service that you own, that you maintain. Uh, but what about teams that don't own a service or teams that aren't development teams at all, like comms, customer support, legal? All these teams are a big stakeholder in the incident management process. Um, but because these previous tools haven't really been built to support that, it leaves you kind of messing with like, uh, you know, really weird workarounds, kind of finicky setups, or maybe you want to alert a Slack channel at the same time. Now you're bringing in third-party connectors like Zapier. And so we just wanted to make a, a tool that was matching up with how people are managing incidents today and how we see it going in the future and makes it just really easy and intuitive because at the end of the day, it's just, it's getting a phone call. It should be like the easiest part of the incident management process. But if you look at the whole incident response or incident management, uh, talk a bit about... Uh, different components there is paging is not enough you know you have to of course knowing is important but what do you do so can you talk a bit about the overall approach that rootly has to incident management yeah definitely um you're totally right paging is just the beginning it's just letting you know that something's wrong from there you need to get the right people in the room to resolve the issue. You probably have customers and stakeholders you need to communicate with both inside the company and outside the company. You have usually a whole variety of tasks and things that are taking place all at once. And without some sort of coordination effort, this becomes really messy and chaotic. Uh, and what we had seen historically, and many of us at the company, myself included, have been a part of these incident management teams within companies, all that burden falls on the incident commander or individuals. And so there's so much manual effort, like tracking and just herding cats, rounding everybody up and making sure things are getting done and keeping the executives updated. So really provides you with uh, the tools that make this really easy, and in some cases, you can actually automate a lot of these steps um, so that you don't even have to think about it. It just happens. You know, for example, 
you have that one exec that likes to be really tuned in and he wants a phone call every time a sub zero incident is going on, you can just automate that. You set it up once, if this, then that. Now you're not training your responders to remember. Don't forget to, you know, call that CRO because he likes to know. Um, Don't forget to surface this playbook. Rootly will automatically do that. It's just nudging you along and making the process way, way simpler. When we talk about uh, automation and manual process these days, of course, AI has been around for a long time. You folks have been using AI for a long time, but we talk a lot about LLMs, Gen AI. Talk about how you're leveraging those technologies. So AI is something we have somewhat recently also started building into the product. Um, There's a lot of different things you can do with the AI, but probably my favorite is the kind of co-pilot aspect of it. So say, for example, you're in an incident channel and you've lost track of the conversation, or maybe you've just been thrown into an incident midway and you have no idea what's going on. Our AI supports plain language or natural language processing, so you can just like ask it. You can tag rootly and say, what is going on? Or catch me up. Or did that rollback we tried earlier worked? I can't find the thread. And it will just uh, answer you exactly like you would expect uh, a human to do, but instantaneously. So you can, you can ask things like that, but you can also ask you know, best practices. This is our first security incident. What should we do? You can quite literally ask Rootly and it will uh, you know, dig up context and provide answers for you. Um, There's a lot of other stuff that the AI does as well, but those are two examples that stand out. Can you also talk about the maturity of the incident response market uh, where you are seeing that, of course, there have been a lot of players. We used to cover Jelly, which was recently acquired. Uh, How mature is the market in terms of that there's enough awareness? Customers, you know, they know they are actually looking at more mature solutions either from company or totally, or you are like, we are in a phase where we are still trying to explain to folks that, you know, when they look at cloud, collaborative, you know, incident management is also one of the critical aspect, you know. Also, when we talk about cloud, we talk about so many things, right? Uh, Observability is there, and sometimes a lot of overlap happens. So I just want to understand the state of incident management. It is really exciting to see the amount of innovation that's happening in the space right now. Like you mentioned, Jelly and their recent acquisition, Um, You know, we have a handful of competitors that we will come up against quite frequently. Um, And I would say in terms of maturity, the market is still really young. Uh, You you do have, especially in these more dedicated spaces, if you get into a room of, you know, SREs, they're going to have a deeper amount of knowledge about the tooling available. But even then, um, we find that when we really get in and demonstrate the product, even just like from one quarter to the next, people are really surprised by just what it can do. I think earlier on, especially, um, the the sort of impression is like, oh yeah, Slack bots. We, we made a Slack bot. We don't need that. Um, but when you really see how, how much further it goes and how you can use things like AI to power it even further, um, yeah, I think there's still a lot of, of green field ahead in terms of incident management tooling and what it's going to look like. When it comes to incident management, Within teams, I mean, there are different personas, there are different teams. Where does the buck stop? Which team is responsible or which teams do you deal with? It can be um, pretty varied, even from organization to organization. So I'd say, of course, at the heart of incident management is most typically an SRE team. Um, And beyond that, you're going to see involvement from product development a lot of the time coming in either as responsible for their services and not letting all of that fall to SREs or um, just coming in as subject matter experts on maybe an impacted product. And then you're going to see even, you know, a communications team, your social media team, your legal team in some cases, especially if there's, you know, security related things going on. Executives tend to have pretty strong involvement. Um, and even customer support as well. As we were discussing earlier, you know, this is a crowded space. Talk a bit about uh, the edge that you have over your competitors. But what makes you folks unique? One thing that makes us unique that we hear from our customers quite a bit. So we put a pretty strong emphasis on the enterprise use case, where um, some of the other tools are going to be a little bit maybe better suited to an SMB, somebody who has no existing process and they need something that they're going to plug and play. Uh, And we have 
put a lot of effort into making Rootly really simplified. And so you can get that experience, but we do put a pretty strong focus on the enterprise use case. And many of us, even at the company, including myself, including our founders, we have worked previously at very large enterprise tech companies, even within the incident management space. So I think we have a natural understanding of not just what these companies need from a feature perspective, but from how we actually work with them as a partner. Um, and our customers are in many ways even an extension of our product team. We are very, very fortunate to have some incredible companies as customers who are pushing their own industries forward. So companies like NVIDIA and Figma and Canva, who they are such innovators in the spaces that they are in. Um, and because they are so vocal and they push industries forward, they also kind of by nature really push us to be more innovative and think uh, in a very different way about how we can cater to what they need in terms of incident management. So ultimately, our focus on enterprises and our the way that we work with our enterprise customers, I think, results in a lot of innovation in the product itself. You may or may not be able to share names, but if you can also talk a bit about uh who your users are, or you know, just some use cases there. There's a lot of our users that we are transparent about, some that we are not, of course. You know, that's something that is decided on a case-by-case -case basis. But uh, we we work with some amazing companies. So I, I had mentioned in Figma or in Figma, Nvidia, Figma, and Canva. Uh, we work with LinkedIn as well as a really fantastic customer of ours. Elastic are really fabulous, actually. Um, Reggie from the Elastic team just gave a talk at SREcon in San Francisco, and he he spoke pretty in depth about how they implemented Rootly. So that was really cool to see. Uh, but if you visit our website as well, it's just Rootly.com. Uh, there's quite a few customers listed there, and you can also see them kind of broken down by you know enterprise versus midsize and so on. If I can ask you, it, it can be tricky. Uh, of course, we will talk about these things when things are ready, but just give us a kind of teaser of what to expect from Rootly this year. Like we talked about, on-call is new. And think of the version of on-call you see right now as very much a V1. There is a lot more coming to the on-call solution that we have. Um, and also uh, our AI feature set is just becoming more and more robust and it's going to be doing some really, really cool stuff. So uh, I would say just more depth within those two areas are the things to look forward to. Ashley, thank you so much for taking time out today. And of course, talk about Rootly and the whole ecosystem. Thanks for great insights. And I would love to chat with you again. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me.